Okay, next I wanna prove number three, and that's again, if F sub N converges uniformly to F, uh, then, uh, so here again, F sub N maps some set G to C, you could let G be some open connected set, uh, let gamma uh, be in G, suppose gamma is piecewise smooth. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's all we need is the gamma is piecewise smooth. And uh, F, F sub N converges uniformly to F on G. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna prove that the limit of the integral of the function F sub N is equal to the integral of the limits. Okay, so that's our goal. We're gonna prove that the limit of the integrals is the integral of the limits. Okay, and to do that, we're just gonna do an epsilon delta argument. This is, we're, we're trying to establish that this limit here is equal to the integral of F. So it's gonna be the usual epsilon delta argument. And um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a fixed gamma. Okay, and notice that if gamma is just a single point, which is allowed, it's not interesting, but it's allowed. If gamma is a single point, then this statement holds uh, no matter what, uh, because the integral over a single point is gonna be zero. So if we take the limit of zero, that's gonna be zero and everything's fine, okay? So this automatically holds for all functions, regardless of uniform continuity or not, if gamma is just a single point, okay? Um, so uh, if the length of gamma is zero, then the statement holds automatically. Okay, so the statement holds. So uh, let's assume that the length of gamma is positive. Okay, I don't care what it is, but just assume that it's positive. It's fixed ahead of time, right? You just pick gamma ahead of time, so that's uh, fine. Okay, let epsilon be given. And then what we're going to do is we're going to show that, well, if we take the limit of the integral of gamma of f sub n, remember that this means the integral of f sub n of z dz, minus the integral over gamma of f, this means f of z dz. What we can do is we can combine these into a single integral. So this is gonna be equal to the modulus of the integral over gamma of f sub n of z minus f of z dz. And then we're gonna apply the, what I like to call the ML theorem. So you, you can bound this above by the maximum of all values z and gamma of f sub n of z minus f of z. So it's the maximum of that times the length of gamma. Okay, now by uniform convergence, F sub N of Z minus F of Z is gonna be as small as we want. In particular, it's gonna be less than epsilon over the length of gamma. Because uh, if, if little n is large enough, because the point here is that the Z values are relevant. We know that this is gonna be bounded by whatever multiple of epsilon we want uh, because of uniform convergence. So here, this specifically does not involve Z. Uh, and that's again, where we need uniform convergence here. And this is, uh, this is equal to epsilon, okay? And so this is less than epsilon over the length of gamma. So just notice that we used that uh, F sub N of Z minus F of Z is less than epsilon over the length of gamma, where the length of gamma is just some positive fixed number, uh, if little n is sufficiently large. Okay, so in other words, for all epsilon there exists a capital N so that this holds. Okay, so that's what we used. So we used that this holds, uh, yeah, I, I guess I should have kept that in, if little n is sufficiently large. Okay, but this is enough to establish that the limit of the integrals and the integral of the limit are the same.